Soldier Boy Tough. Soldier Boy, I've been it all. Good morning, y'all. It's Vlogmas Day 3. And today, we were supposed to work out and so, but mom and sister ain't working out. Ma, mm. you want to tell everybody why you're not working out today? Why are we telling everybody why I ain't working out? Because you on the phone. I need some accountability. Okay. Okay, so I'm here. I'm a little bit late, but we're here. Uh, we gotta go up this stairs. I'm gonna show y'all. And yeah, that's it. We are both kitchen. We're vlogging. Say hello to the camera. This is my uncle man man, more so like my brother man man because he's only one year older than me. Throw this dude in any sport and he's gonna kill it. He's super talented. What's up, what's up, this video? This video, vlogmas wow. season. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's get it. Let them know when we meet, what we do, what? <laughs> said when we meet. Saturday. Um, Saturday, it's 9.30 um, at the Culver City Stairs at the bottom before yes. we go up. So, if you in California, LA, around LA, Culver yes, City. Come through. Flat Every right. Saturday, 9 30. Yes. Ooh, time. Time. You want to tell everybody why you ain't here working out? Because Ma, I was on the phone with Ma today too, but since you called, it's perfect timing. Uh, I am here. And I, oh. Oh, oh Nuna, Nuna done made it to the workout. Okay. Tell Mom. Let her know. She the only one out here slacking. She parking? No, Ma didn't come talking about it. I'm talking about she ain't had no workout clothes. She was the one that was texting me. Uh, right? Yeah, all week. Exactly. She had all three weeks. Well, we'll see you. I just wanted you to, um, I wanted to hold you accountable on camera since I already got mom. But look, look, look at God, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Break already? Yeah. Oh, dude. Okay. Yeah. Halfway, yeah. Halfway? My thighs. That's like one fourth. And my booty burn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready to do this? Right here, baby. Uh oh. Energy, Energy burst. Yeah. Energy. <laughs> yeah. I think we halfway, probably. I can feel the thick coming in. Oh, me too. The you thick. Press through it. The thick is loaded. She said that the other day. For real? I said that's why Jesus said don't go off of your feelings. <laughs> See. You can feel things, but do you? 
Hallo, mijn lieve van Ja, het is allemaal zeer. Let's go. Jezus. Oké. Okay. Oh yeah. And we made it. What a beautiful path to the actual workout. It's the right way, right? I think so. He's body baby. He's body baby. Another day complete. Oh, hello, little one. This is my youngest brother, Snooper, the baby in the family. Y'all see him again in this video to get a better look. I came here to see what mom do. And this is mom. Y'all probably seen her a few times before too. You know, she big child, grew her hair long. She was the first person to do her journey after me. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so this is my big little bro, Ooh, the one y'all just saw dancing. He does football, wrestling, track, you name it. And I guess now he's doing dancing. Congratulations! Mm -hmm. All right. You want break? Yeah. Yeah. Can I get some? Oh, can I go with my friend there? He going he going down the street. Huh? You got a license? Yeah, my my friend. Come on. Man, that's tough. Okay, y'all. So I'm finally back home and really tired um today was a long day i mean it just you know it's a field day but it was a good type of field um just really quickly i feel like um today where there's like this theme or this message of like pressing on and pressing your way and that started from the very beginning when i woke up this morning because um my sister and i had already started working out my mom was gonna start with us this weekend um, we work with you saw um, that is that's actually my uncle, but he trains. He um, does personal training and he started this um, circuit where we could do group cha uh, group training. And so that's where we've been working out. And today, well, yesterday I found out my sister wasn't going in this morning. My mom talking about I don't got no workout clothes, so I can't go. Right. I expect them to go. So that now they both wasn't going. So when I woke up this morning, I'm laying in my bed. I'm like. Nunu ain't going, mom, you ain't going either. And so I was debating like, okay, go or not go. Um, so go work out <laughs> like you planned, like you started it. So keep going. 
Um, and it's even just much larger than just working out. Um, I really also want to support my uncle and what he's doing and, you know. But, um, yeah, so it was like that back, you know, two people that I was going to go with and not go anymore. And so that kind of discouraged is not the word, but you don't really feel up to it anymore. So I was like, I might just lay in this bed and stay here until later today when it's time to do something, which that would have been my um, brother's concert. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to get up, I'm going to go. So I got up and I'm going to go and then like find out that my sister w was able to come because she wasn't able to come because something else was going on, but she was able to come. And so I was like, oh, wow. you know, we both done pressed our way. I had no idea that she would have been able to make it. And so like seeing her press her way too, and just seeing how her schedule had rearranged itself somehow so that she was able to make it because she could have easily been like, oh, my schedule changed, so I guess now I can work out. But if you don't really want to do what you're saying you want to do, you ain't going to do it. So there's a difference between, between finding a way and then finding an excuse. If you, if you really want to do it, you're going to find a way. If you don't really want to do it, you're going to find an excuse. So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you started, whatever it is that God has put on your heart, from the things that you consider little, like working out, like, uh, I don't know, being cons more consistent in, or healthy in your eating habits, or, those things are actually huge. Um, <laughs> but it's those little steps that lead up to this bigger picture that you're actually asking him for. It's those little steps of me going to these workouts that is going to overall affect my whole, honestly, my life. Working out is very important <laughs> to like your health, your mental, over the span of your life, not just like the way your body looks right now. Um, so it's just so much bigger. So whatever it is that you're feeling like not doing anymore, because you don't, in this this present moment, you're not feeling like you see the significance in it, I want to encourage you to press your way. Find your ways and not your excuses. And another thing is press your way because other people are in a way leaning. We lean on each other. We are a body. If we look at our work in Christ, if we look at the fact of like, when I go to church, to see the other people there, that encourages you to keep coming too. But when you start going to church and the church starts getting a little empty, like there's seasons where church starts, people don't really come anymore. I don't know if it's like summer vacation or like, you know, but there's those seasons and you notice like people not, I ain't seen so-and-so in a while. And you after a while start to feel less inclined to go too. So that's what I want to say is like, we, you know, you don't have control over other people doing what they do. But for you, at least make sure you do what you say you're going to do. At least show your discipline in how you work and how you are and just your integrity. Make sure you stay present forward in what you do because someone else is watching. That's going to encourage you. Encourage them. But if you kind of slack off, you don't know who else is indirectly um kind of dependent on you and when they see you slacking off it kind of affects them too like oh well dang kind of like for me this morning i'm like well shoot if my sister and my mama ain't going do i really need to go you know like stuff could feel like that and so i have to find it within myself of like okay why do i want to go so it is a, a double thing but it does make it easier for people to just continue to go forward in the things that they're doing when they see you go forward so that's my encouragement is press on for you and then also for others, also for anybody that might be watching. I was encouraged seeing my sister show up because it was like, it was a message. I was like, okay. So yeah, that was the word that I got today that I felt on my spirit today. Um, you could simply, if you want like scriptures, match with it. I'll probably put some in the description box, but you could simply like Google scriptures on pressing forward and you'll probably get the one of, um, I press on towards the goal. I think that's in Philippians. I don't know. But yeah, so that's what I wanted to leave y'all with. God bless you guys. And thank you guys for watching these videos. And I hope you were um, able to take something from this video and all the other videos too. Um, don't want these videos to be like purposeless. So yes, that's it. Like the video down below. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.